Hey y'all, what's up? This your girl, Comatic Medium Prophetess, and I'm back with another video. If you're new to my channel, I'm a pathetic tear reader. Don't read cards based off the meanings. Read cards based off what spirit tells me. Holy Angels in the Divine. If you're a returning subscriber, you probably know the intro. Sick of the intro, but still, I still have newcomers that come. All right. So um, this is just going to be a um, general, <laughs> excuse me. This is going to be a general tarot message. So we're just going to see what comes out in the cards, okay? I don't know what's going to come out, all right? I just, I don't have a download or nothing. I'm not going to pull any charms or any of my homemade cards. I'm just going to read the tarot. All right, uh, before we get started, you know we're going to go ahead and pray first because I can't do a reading without praying first. And it is what it is. So we're going to see what's going on. Today is um, October the 18th, Wednesday. Okay, this will still be a timeless message. Whenever you receive it, you may receive this message in the morning. Uh, next of tomorrow, you might receive this morning. This You may receive this message in the evening, the morning, the afternoon, next month, next year, next week. I don't know, tonight, whatever. <laughs> it's still timeless. All right. So uh let's go hold on let me do my cards we're gonna go ahead and do my cards and we're gonna go ahead and pray we're gonna go ahead and get started let's get it started it's in here anyway let's see what's going on for the collective today because i don't know what's going to come now this is a general message now remember to take what resonate leave what don't if, if it's not resonating with you do not try to make it fit all right and also, if you're a karmic, stop listening to my messages thinking that I'm talking about my own life and myself because I'm not. Don't get me wrong. Sometimes I do pick up on messages that can, I can resonate with, with as well. But not everything I say or comes out of my mouth is pertaining to me. So stop watching me behind the scenes trying to analyze my life. Okay? <laughs> okay. All right. So anyhow, let's get started and let's pray. All right. Let's pray. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Archangel Michael, Archangel Raziel, Archangel Raphael, Archangel Gabriel, Archangel Metatron, I ask you to see your greatest white light and please give me clear and precise messages today on October the 18th. Protect my crown chakra, protect my throat chakra, protect my heart chakra. Give me clear and precise messages for the collective. Thank you, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. Somebody could be playing dominoes or something like that. Somebody could be having a cookout. Okay, somebody or somebody wants to invite somebody to a cookout or something. Somebody likes to play dominoes. I'm seeing somebody like play spades or play cards. Somebody's gonna have a cookout this weekend. I'm hearing a barbecue. A barbecue. I'm hearing a bu bu barbecue. Yeah, uh, I'm seeing. I'm seeing that movie. Uh, I'm seeing that movie Friday in my head. Yeah, we have the Queen of Pentacles here. So this could be somebody's mother, or this can these could or this could be somebody's baby mother. This could be somebody's mother. This could be somebody that you're dating. Hold on. I don't know what this is, but we finna see what this is. Yeah, Empress here. Yeah, I know I can't make this up. So uh, somebody that you're dating, male or female, their mother, this Queen of Pentacles here, somebody may take care of their mother, okay? Or somebody may, I don't know, or somebody may live with their mother. So be careful. Um, Hold on, y'all. I got to keep this lit. Where the hell my lighter go? I just had my goddamn light. I'm losing my lighter like I smoke. I don't even smoke. But, but uh, yeah, I'm seeing something here. I'm hearing it's Friday. Yeah, somebody wants to invite somebody to a barbecue or something like that. So, yeah, y'all be careful. Yeah, tower card here. I feel like somebody wants to marry somebody. Somebody wants to marry an empress or something, but they want their mother's approval. Somebody wants to know. I don't know. I don't know. This could be male or female. Hmm, this is interesting. This is something refreshing and new. Okay, let's see what this is. This is refreshing, you guys. Okay, but um, hold on. <clears throat> Too much light. But uh, whatever this is, so I I'm seeing a cookout in my head. There is a barbecue. Barbecue. I'm here, but but barbecue. I'm here Friday, the Friday, uh, Friday after next, the Christmas one. So I'm seeing here that somebody's mother. It's like somebody wants some type of approval. Somebody wants to invite somebody to a cookout or a barbecue. Somebody wants somebody that somebody wants you to meet the mother or meet the father or meet the parents. I'm seeing that movie, Meet the Parents in my head. Yeah, a temperance card here. Yeah. 
So Tim, so somebody could be a Sagittarius. Somebody could be a Libra Taurus. Okay. Somebody could be a, a fire sign here as well. Okay. Yeah. Seven of swords here. King of cups here. Yeah. I feel like somebody has been hurt. Somebody has been hurt really bad in this energy. Okay, this King of Cups here, Four of Swords here. Yeah, Tower card here. Yeah, the Tower card here is coming out twice. Somebody wants to propose to somebody. Somebody wants to marry a Empress. Okay, but they want their mother's approval. Somebody's going to invite somebody to a cookout or a barbecue. I, I keep hearing bub bub barbecue, so I don't know. Maybe you could be having a cookout this weekend or a fish fry or something. Yeah, this King of Wands devil here. Uh, Ten of Pentacles here. Yeah. Why is this person coming out as a devil? Yeah, because I feel like with these tower cards here, it's like somebody here, I don't know. I'm hearing Beauty and the Beast. It's like somebody want to change their life around. I'm hearing that song by Maxwell. If I let my life pass me by, I can just try and try. Work it all out this lifetime. Yeah, somebody wants to, oh, I don't know. Somebody could be older here. Somebody could be younger. It doesn't really matter. Somebody is ready to settle down. Okay, but I feel like somebody could be a cheater. Somebody could be a cheater in this energy. Maybe that's why this devil card is coming out. Or somebody could be like an ex-player. It's like after somebody has been cheating for a long time, after somebody has been some type of ex-player, they're ready to settle down with an empress. Yeah, and whoever this empress is, they want you to meet their mama. Mm, somebody wants you to meet their goddamn mama. Somebody's saying, I don't know, maybe you a man. Divine masculine, somebody wants you to meet their mama. Somebody's saying, listen, this is the one. I found the one, mama. I love this one. This is the perfect wife. This is the perfect husband. Uh, 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 ain't you having a fish fry on Friday? Ain't you having a, a barbecue on Saturday? Ain't you doing something? Yeah, be careful. Be careful who y'all dating and who y'all talking to. I'm, I just seen the death card. Somebody could be a damn hit man or some shit like that. So be careful. Or a hit woman. Somebody could be a setup queen or a setup king. Yeah, seven of cups here. Okay, there's definitely be there. there de this definitely could be some type of illusion here, or somebody could be paranoid in this energy, or something like that. I don't know. Stay on your p's and q's. I don't know. Yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know. What else is here, Spirit? Yeah, Strength card here. Yeah, Four of Pentacles here. Three of Wands here. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh. Ace of Wands here. Justice card here. Yeah, Death card here. Yeah. I don't know, y'all. This is refreshing. This is really new. Like, I don't feel like I'm picking up on nothing that I've been picking up on. What y'all doing this weekend? Let a girl know. Y'all having a barbecue? Y'all having a fish fry? Somebody is cooking out. I mean, somebody finna, be, somebody finna go all the way out for somebody. Somebody like you? I don't know, male or female, somebody really like you. I'm hearing somebody, I mean, somebody's mother or somebody's parents or somebody's father or somebody's parental figures are excited about meeting the empress, okay, or something like that. Somebody wants to marry somebody here. I don't know if you're a man or a woman, but somebody's saying, hey, somebody, so expect a text, expect a DM. I, I don't know. I'm hearing a text. Uh, probably not a DM if you already know this person. Yeah, three of staffs here. Somebody wants to marry. Yeah, magician card here. Somebody has, somebody is manifesting a family with somebody. Somebody wants to be with somebody. Somebody, somebody is really in love with somebody for real. Somebody is like head over heels. Even if this person doesn't act like it, this King of Wands devil here, whoever this King of Wands devil is here, this is somebody that used to be a player. I'm hearing, I don't want to be a player no more. I ain't a player. I, I ain't a, what he say? I ain't a player. I just fuck a lot. Oh, excuse me. I just crush a lot. Yeah, somebody's saying, yeah, finally found someone I can live my life for. Oh, shit. King of Cups. It's a King of Cups, King of Wands, devil. Somebody said, I'm ready to put my sword down. Yeah, four of wands here. Where the four of wands go? I mean, four of swords here. Somebody said, I'm ready to put it down. I don't want to be a player no more. And somebody is talking about somebody to they mother or this could be male or female i don't want to be a player no more i don't want to do that no more mama somebody finna have a cookout somebody finna have a barbecue but but barbecue and holy moly donut shop somebody finna go all the <laughs> that movie fried look judgment card here oh y'all be careful going to the barbecue 
Be careful going to these cookouts or hell, I don't know. So there's going to be a tower. Somebody finna propose to somebody. Somebody finna get down on one knee. Or if somebody doesn't propose to you, listen, I don't know. If you've been dating this person for a while, if you've been dating this person for a while, they're going to propose to you. Like if you've already met this person's mother or father or parents, if you already met this person's parental figures and you already went to a cookout and you already went to a barbecue, your husband, I mean, well, shit, or your wife, well, this might not be your husband or your wife yet, but somebody finna propose to your ass. Somebody finna get down on one knee. I'm hearing you can have any. Thing. Yeah, somebody finna, ooh, look, I told you, look, lover's card here. Somebody said you can have whatever you like. Stacks on deck, Patron on ice, and we can pop bottles all night, baby. You can have whatever you like. I'm here and be real careful, girl. I don't care if you a man or a woman. I'm hearing something about it because the, the emperor ain't coming out. This is divine feminine. Somebody need to be real careful because somebody, somebody might, I'm hearing, um, Gotta find my way back, way back to you, baby. Gotta find my way back, way back to you, baby. Yeah, somebody, this could be somebody from your past. Somebody finna invite somebody somewhere. Somebody, I don't know what the hell this is or what the hell I didn't tap into, y'all. But somebody is saying, I don't know. Somebody could be married or I, I don't know what this is. What is this? Spirit, what the hell is this? Yeah, seven of cups here. Yeah, it's a bunch of illusions. Somebody, I don't know. Higher fin here. Somebody going to propose to somebody. Or I don't know. Or somebody could be married or, or, or this could be a side. I don't know. What is this? This is a very different read from what I'm used to. All right. This is some new energy. This is definitely some new energy. Spirit, tell me more. What is going on here? I'm telling you, listen, this is somebody's mother. This queen of pentacles here. This queen of pentacles is somebody's mother. This is somebody's number one person in their life. Whoever this king of cups is, king of pentacles, uh, devil card, devil energy here. This is somebody that like to give money. This could be somebody that's a hustler. This could be somebody that, that like this. That's a hustler. They're a provider. This is somebody that wants to take care of the empress. This is somebody that has fell, fallen head over heels in love with a empress. Okay. And I feel like whoever this man is, if you have been dating this man or woman, I don't know, this could even be some same sex, even though I'm not seeing that and I don't condone that. No disrespect to the LGBTQ. But if you have been dating this person for a very long time, they're going to propose to you. They're going to they're going to propose to you at this family function, this family cookout. Or if you have not been dating this person or if you've never been invited to, if you haven't met the family yet, you're at the tower and it's going to be you meeting the family. Somebody is going to say, hey, uh, do you want to come to a cookout? Do you want to come to a barbecue? Yeah, three of pinnacles here. There's some type of gathering here. Okay. It's like somebody wants, somebody wants to marry somebody, but they need mama's approval or daddy's approval. So yeah, this devil here, I'm telling you, some type of ex player here, but I'm here and be careful because if you marry this person or you get into a connection or a partnership with this person, yeah, this person is up in their head about this five of swords. This could be somebody that could be very controlling or narcissistic, maybe even abusive. Be careful. Okay. And I feel like whoever this person's mother is or family members is, or some, there's some, I don't know, somebody could be the breadwinner of their family or something like that. I don't know, but I'm finna tap out of this one. I don't know. So this could be for somebody. Listen, if you're going, if somebody invited you to a fish fry, a barbecue, a carne asada, a cookout, somebody finna propose to you. If you've been dating this person for a while, or the tower may be that this person is going to ask you to go to, if you ain't never met the family before, you're going to meet the family. You're going to meet the mom, the dad, the sisters, the brother. You finna meet everybody. Somebody, somebody is in love. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. So if you're not really, I'm here. Somebody may not really be feeling this person like that. I'm here. Oh, you thought I was feeling you? That nigga's a much. I don't know. So you might not be, I don't know. You might need to sell on the common waters. I don't know. Somebody may need to cut somebody off. If you're not really interested in somebody, male or female, cut this person off. Yeah, because somebody is head over, if, yeah, somebody is head over heels in love with somebody. Somebody wants you to meet their mama. Somebody wants you to meet their mama. Mm-hmm. 
Somebody wants you to meet their mama. Somebody may even want you to go to church with them. Somebody wants you to come to their church. Can I get an amen? I don't know what's going on. What is this? What is y'all? What are y'all doing collective? Yeah, three of cups here. Yeah, somebody wanted somebody finna invite somebody to a cookout. Okay, I'm hearing a barbecue and I'm hearing somebody mama or daddy can cook or fan. I feel like somebody finna go all the way out. Somebody finna get ribs and brisket and uh, barbecue sauce and, 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 and baked beans and pinto beans and hot leeks and, and white bread and wheat bread and, 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 and everything. Somebody, somebody didn't told they mama they didn't met her in for somebody said I didn't met my wife. I didn't met my goddamn wife. Mama, you got to meet her. Mama, divine masculine, did you meet your wife? Divine feminine, did you meet your husband? You gotta meet him, mama. You gotta meet him, daddy. He coming to the cookout. Ain't you having a cookout on Friday and Saturday? I don't know. Somebody, so I feel like somebody talks to their mama or their daddy a lot about, about an empress or emperor, even though the emperor ain't came out. I don't know. Or their family members. And so these people could already be planning some type of cookout. And somebody's mother, this queen of pentacles is saying, won't you go ahead and invite that, that man or that woman or that girl? I don't know. What the fuck is y'all? What y'all got going on? This weekend. Okay. Now listen again, if you've already been dating this person, if you've already been dating this person for a while, this person is going to propose to you. I'm here and be careful because somebody could be a woman beater in this energy or somebody could be a narc. If they're not if they're not physically abusive, they could be mentally abusive or, 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 or somebody could be controlling. Somebody could be like Ike Turner. Somebody could be, uh, I don't know, somebody, I'm here and left a good job down in the city. Yeah, somebody could be like Ike Turner. So be careful or I don't know, or somebody could be verbally abusive or physically abusive or emotionally abusive. Somebody is an abuser here. So be real careful. I don't care if you've been dating this person for a long time or a short period of time. Somebody's and somebody's mother could be an enabler. This queen of pentacles, somebody may be like a mama's boy. Somebody may be attached to their mother. This queen of pentacles empress here or father, somebody could be, or some, it's like, if this is a woman, this person is a spoiled brat. Somebody's mother and father has always taken care of them. If this is a man, this is somebody that could have always taken care of their mother or their parents. Okay. Or something like that. And I don't know. It's like this person's mother or father or possibly mother is an enabler. Somebody's parental figure is an enabler. It's like even if this person beat your ass or even if this person do something wrong, this person's mother, especially their mother, male or female, will turn a blind eye. Even if you're a masculine, this woman, if you're dating this woman, yeah, and, and, and she do something to you or betray you or hurt you or try to harm you, this person's parents will turn a blind eye because whoever this is, you know, their parents don't feel like that they do anything wrong. Yeah, devil card here. Somebody is like a, a closeted uh, a woman beater or man beater or abuser. Somebody is, in a, is a closeted be abuser. Yeah, empress card here. And somebody wants you to meet your mama. Somebody wants a empress to meet their mama. Somebody's going to invite somebody to a cookout. Okay, anything else here? Because, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, moon card here. Somebody is planning this shit behind the scenes again. If you've already been dating this person for a long time and you've already met this person's parents, somebody is a narcissist here. Somebody is, so I'm telling you here, somebody can have multiple baby mamas or multiple baby fathers or some shit like that. I don't know. Somebody is a narc. Somebody is a fucking narc. I'm telling you somebody is a narc. And this could also be a setup. Somebody may, somebody may have been paid to set somebody up or take out. Look, I told you, death card here. I can't make this up. Death card here. Somebody could have been paid to kill somebody or harm somebody, male or female. So if you're dating this person... And this part you if you've been dating this person for a while, they're ready for you to meet the parents. Okay? Somebody is going to propose to you or somebody or or if you haven't been dating this person for a while, they're ready for you to meet the parents, but there's a tower here. Spirit, before I go, tell me more about this tower, please. Before I go, tell me more about this tower. What is this tower? Yeah, you need to trust your intuition. Yeah, five of pentacles here. Somebody could have been, somebody, somebody could also be dating somebody for money. Somebody could be an opportunist here. Okay. I don't know. I'm telling yeah, you need to pray about this. You need to pray about this and trust your intuition because somebody may like somebody more than somebody else. I don't know. You can have options here or something like that. I'm here. 
Like you can you can have several options here. I feel like somebody, I don't know, somebody may be more invested in a connection or a relationship or a partnership. It's, yeah, so somebody may try to propose to you, but you may not be ready to get married. Or somebody may try to invite you to a cookout and you may not be ready to get married. I'm seeing a movie in my head, but I don't know what the hell that movie is. Oh, 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 shit. Okay, listen. Waiting to motherfucking exhale. So y'all know, come on now, y'all. Y'all, if y'all hear my kids in the background, come on now, y'all. Come on now, y'all. Come on now, y'all. What is y'all doing this weekend? What y'all doing? The collective? So this is the movie that I'm seeing in my head. Y'all know the movie Waiting to Exhale and Robin Ass. Remember she met that dude? He was a crackhead. And so he he invited her to a cookout to meet his damn mama. And that dude was a mama's boy. He loved his damn mama, but he, he invited her to a cookout. And so then remember he got on the she got on the phone with Whitney Houston and she was like, I can't find my purse or her wallet. She was like, I can't find my purse or wallet. And she was like, I don't know what it, I don't know what happened to it. And she was like, What what you think happened to it? And she was like, I don't know, Savannah. She was like, Savannah, he says he only, he only, us uh, like smoke crack. He only does it sometimes, Savannah. Somebody could be a crackhead or a dope fiend or something. I don't, I don't know. What the fuck is this? I don't know, y'all. I don't know. Listen, I don't know what this is. Listen, listen. I'm going to tell you something. Listen, whether you're a man or a woman and you've been dating this person for a long time, Somebody is ready to, and they want you to meet the, their mama and daddy. They ready, or they want you to meet their grandma. Somebody wants you to meet their family. Somebody feel like they found the one. Somebody is ready to settle down. Somebody is hiding secrets though, behind the scenes moon card here. Somebody can have multiple baby mamas, multiple baby fathers. If not that, if you, you know, if you like kids, cool. Or somebody here, or somebody could feel like you're hiding something. Or somebody here is a woman beater. Or somebody here is like, or a closeted gay or something like that. Somebody could be homosexual. I don't know. Somebody is hiding something about themselves. I don't care if this is a man or a woman. Somebody is trying to trick and bamboozle somebody. I feel like somebody whole entire family is trying to trick and bamboozle somebody. Look, I told you, Ten of Pentacles here. I don't know. There's a whole group of motherfuckers that's planning a barbecue, a fish fry, a carne asada, a cookout. Somebody is planning a cookout. And they want, yeah, pay the swords here. There could be a whole group of people that's watching and stocking people. Somebody, yeah, ace of pentacles here. Somebody may even be an opportunist here. Somebody may be, a, somebody may be, somebody may actually want to be with somebody for their money. Or, oh, I don't know what this is, y'all. Be careful. Be careful, man. If you know you're not really interested in somebody, don't go to no barbecue. Don't go to no fish fry. Don't go to no cookout. Don't go to the family function because somebody may like you more than you like them or you may like this person more than they like you. Yeah, somebody, I'm your Mimi at the altar in your white dress or your tuxedo, okay? Meet this person there because somebody want to marry you. And I feel like as soon as you marry this person, as soon as you say, I do, this person going to beat the shit out of you. Is. or get to or get to putting blood or something in your food divine masculine yeah be real careful because something and i feel like and, and if you go to this person's mama if you go to this person's daddy they ain't gonna do shit they gonna turn a blind eye because somebody is a daddy's girl a mama's boy somebody somebody think somebody's parental figures think they don't do no wrong so y'all need to be real careful yeah this is a king of swords possibly queen of swords yeah somebody here will yeah three of swords here somebody could also be a drug addict here somebody could be a recovering alcoholic or a recovering drug addict somebody is not the same or I, I don't know i don't know what the fuck this is i don't know yeah queen of wands in the reverse here yeah nine of pentacles here in the upright here yeah this is somebody's mother somebody's mother is i don't know i don't know what what is this what the hell what is this yeah what are y'all doing this weekend put it in the chat in the comment section what are, what are y'all doing in the what are, what are y'all doing yeah ace i mean uh, uh sun card here leo energy what are y'all doing what are y'all doing Please tell me what y'all doing because somebody mama is doing it big. I mean, if you're going to do that shit, then do it big then, you know? <laughs> I mean, yeah, somebody mama is going to go all out for this cookout. I mean, somebody got, 
Somebody didn't got brisket and, and hot links and hot dogs and, and, and somebody got everything. Some, I mean, somebody is in love. Whoever this man or this woman is, they are in love. And somebody finna invite somebody to a cookout. And, and if you already been to one of these damn cookouts, you finna get proposed to. Somebody finna get down on one knee. I'm hearing, don't do it. Phone home. Because as soon as you say I do, you're going to your, you get your ass toe up from the flow up. Somebody going to start putting blood in your food, divine medicine, divine feminine. Somebody going to start knocking you upside your head. I don't know what the fuck this is. Somebody, I don't know. I don't know what the fuck this is. I don't know. This emperor, it really came out in the reverse, but I don't know. Somebody wants you to meet the parents. Okay. Somebody wants you to meet the mama, the daddy, the sister, the cousin, the kids, the brother, the, the grandchildren. I don't fucking know. Somebody could be young or old in this energy. Somebody wants you to meet everybody. And I feel like it's a bunch of people. I don't know what the hell. Is. What is this? What is this? What is y'all doing? I'm, I keep hearing Webby. If you're going to do that shit, then do it big deal. Yeah, somebody finna, this this whole family, somebody finna go all out for a cookout. Boy, this finna be a big ass cookout. I mean, God damn, I'm seeing potato salad, uh, double that, double that, deviled eggs. God damn, uh, baked beans, pinto beans with the, with the, uh, uh, the ground beef in them and, and the little smokies, nachos, uh, goddamn corn on the cob, sweet potatoes, yams, goddamn, uh, uh, pinto beans, uh, got red beans and rice, goddamn gumbo, uh, uh, shit, I, I don't know, good, good, okay, chick, just listen, if you, <laughs> bring me a plate, y'all bring me a plate, all right, cause whoever this person, mama or daddy, yeah, these motherfuckers can cook, I ain't lying, bring me a plate, and, uh, you know, bring me a plate. I sure appreciate y'all to bring me a plate. Because, you know what I'm saying? I'm seeing, ain't nobody, this person's mom, ain't nobody putting blood in this food. Somebody can cook for real. Yeah. Or, hell, maybe you can even cook for real. I don't know. Some I don't know. Somebody done found their wife or their husband. I don't know what. Or, oh, shit, Divine Masculine, you can barbecue. What is this? What is y'all doing? What, who is y'all dating? Shit, bring K&P a plate. Nah, I'm lying. Don't bring me a plate. Don't bring me a plate, y'all. Don't bring me a plate because my motherfucking ass, I, I, I don't like people cooking for me because I don't trust people cooking. I do not trust people cooking. I've been like that all my goddamn life. Even when I was a little girl, I didn't eat nobody food but my mama's. And couldn't nobody cook like my mama. Can't nobody out cook like my can't nobody out cook my goddamn mama. The only person that could out cook my mama was my grandmama. And may she rest in peace. That woman could cook. I'm just saying. I'm just saying, you know what I'm saying? I don't eat everybody food, but you know, if y'all if y'all not going to the cookout, I mean, I don't know. I, I don't know. Divine masculine, divine feminine. What is y'all doing this weekend? Who is y'all talking to? What is the, yeah, two of cups here. It came out in the reverse. Somebody want to invite you to the cookout. So Divine Madison, you finna be invited to the cookout, okay? You know, go ahead. I don't know. Is somebody granddaddy or uncle? Somebody, somebody who going to do the meat? Somebody going to do the meat? Somebody got some slides? You know, listen. If, if, if Listen, I'm going to tell you, this is one secret. This is how you know if somebody can cook or not, okay? This is how you know if a woman can cook or not, Divine Masculine. I don't know. Maybe Divine Masculine, this woman want to invite you over for dinner or a romantic evening. This is how you know if a woman can cook or not. You know what I'm saying? You know, you bring her, maybe, I don't know, bring her something to eat by the house or pick up us or, or, or get you something to eat while you on her way to the house and be like, hey, can you got some salt and some pepper? And she going to be like, yeah, I got some salt and some pepper. I hope she do. And be like, no, no, baby, sit down. Let me go get it. What cabinet is the salt and the pepper in? And then open the cabinet. And if she ain't got a bunch of different different seasonings and uh, exotic seasons and all that shit, then she can't cook. She can't cook. Mm -mm. divine masculine she can't cook mm -mm. divine masculine she can't cook that's how you know if a woman can cook when you go in her seasoning cabinet and she got all type i mean she got all type of different spices and salts and i mean we're not talking about the basics we're not talking about lorry seasoning salt salt and pepper mm -mm -mm -mm. she gotta have garlic powder she gotta have garlic powder onion powder okay Garlic powder, onion powder, motherfucking garlic salt. You can't use too much garlic salt, but just a little bit, you know, but you still got to cook with it. So garlic powder, onion powder, garlic salt. You know, I really don't cook with seasoning salt, but you can have some seasoning salt, seasoning salt, uh, 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 you know, some paprika, you know. Uh, I wouldn't put that on me, but it do go on potato salad. So I hope these folks can cook, uh, you know, just, you, you know, she got to have chipotle seeds. I mean, you got to have the exotics. You got to have the exotics. So Divine Master, who, who, whoever you dating, sir, 
If she ain't got no fan fancy seasonings like jalapeno salt and goddamn uh, uh smoked uh, uh hickory uh, uh chicken seasonings, shit like that. You know the you know you know when y'all go on the seasoning out for all my ladies that can cook. Y'all know when they go on the seasonings out, and they got yeah. If she ain't got no motherfucking exotic seasonings in her seasoning cabinet. Divine master, she that helper can't cook. Mm -mm. That helper can't cook. Now I'm telling you, she can't cook. So yes, so that's some that's some advice. See you, karmic masculines and shit. You motherfucking y'all go to the club and the strip club and the booty bars and shit. And you be yeah, you stop looking for your wife. Stop looking for your wife in the booty club in the strip club. She ain't there. She ain't there, sir. That's not where she at. That's not where she at, sir. That's not where she at. The real women. I mean, she may be there. She may be there, but still. But still, you know, then y'all be shocked. Then after you didn't slept with a real good, you didn't took her on all these goddamn dates. And then you, yeah, you didn't put a baby in. You didn't did air. You didn't took her air. And you didn't went out. And now, now you realize she can't cook. Yeah, it's a karmic ass masculine out here that's stuck with a Jezebel. You stuck with a Jezebel. You stuck in a relationship with a bitch that can't cook. That's your fault. Yeah, you the one that went all these expensive dates and expensive outings. And you didn't broke her down and D-I-C-K baptized her down. And now you, you just now found it out she can't cook. Now, I told you what to do, karmic masculine. Go to her house. You should have brought. Yeah, you should have brought her something. And you should have. You should have planned a romantic dinner at her place or something. I don't know. I'm here. Come on over to my place. You should have did something. The first thing you should have did is looked into the seasoning cabinets. And she ain't got no seasons in there. All she got is salt and pepper. She ain't got no garlic powder, no onion powder, no motherfucking hickory chicken so, uh, seasoning, no goddamn uh, uh, Hawaiian. Uh, I don't know. Shit, it's all to me. If she ain't got no exotic exotic seasonings, throw the whole, whole throw the whole Jezebel away. Throw it away. Throw it away now. Now, I'm gonna tell y'all. This is how you know the people can cook at the barbecue and the cookout when the when the old man uh, he got the slides on. If he ain't got no slides on and his feet ain't ashy and crusty, then he he can't he can't barbecue. He can't barbecue. Hell no. Nah. I don't know what y'all got going on this week, but somebody, listen, y'all need to be careful because people is trying to, these families, these narcissistic ass families, these demonic ass families out here, they trying to bamboozle y'all. They trying to bamboozle divine masculine. I'm telling you, she trying to put one on you. She didn't put that thing on you. Excuse me, spiritual burp. She didn't put that thing on you real good. She didn't suck you up so good. I feel like I'm talking to a karmic mask and you let this woman suck you up that goddamn good. And I, I'm on another storyline now. So if you, yeah, excuse me, I'm on another storyline now. So if you resonated with that other one, be careful because somebody wants to propose to somebody if you've been dating this person for a long time. And if you know you're not interested in this person, don't go, okay? Because somebody is in love with somebody. Somebody truly cares with somebody cares for somebody. Somebody don't want to be a player no more. They they didn't found the one, male or female. Somebody really like you. So if you got if you got different options, just I don't know. Just be careful. Okay, I don't know what this is, male or female, but I'm telling you, somebody could be an ex-player or somebody could be a woman beater. Somebody could be a, a Jezebel. Somebody could be playing a role. Somebody wants you to meet their mommy and daddy so they can trap you with a baby or a child or trap you in a marriage. Somebody wants to trap you or somebody could be saying you're trying to trap them. It's like somebody wants to trap you so they can uh, use you for your money, your bread, or uh, or somebody wants to abuse you or break you down. Some, yeah, I don't know what the fuck this is, but yeah. Just be mindful because somebody is a devil or they got devil tendencies. Okay. The devil can pop out at any given moment. Okay. Yeah. I don't know. Three of Pentacles here. Okay. But I'm also picking up on a karmic. There's a karmic masculine here that fell in love with a Jezebel. You got to be ashamed of yourself. You didn't took this woman on all these dates. Don't get me wrong. You're supposed to take a woman on a date. Cool. But I mean, damn. You took out all the, now, yeah, now you didn't, I don't know, somebody didn't fail for a Jezebel, somebody going through karma, somebody could have actually been in a relationship or married to an empress and they chose a Jezebel over an empress, somebody could have been cheating on their wife, somebody could have lost their family fucking around with an empress, now you just now finding out that this bitch can't cook, I feel like somebody, I don't know, I feel like somebody, you, I don't know, who are you, who are you, who the fuck are you, <laughs> what, why do I keep seeing Friday after next in my head? <laughs> And motherfucking data ass, who the fuck are you? And she was like, oh yeah, I'm uh whatever the fuck she said, some more. Y'all don't pay me no attention. 
Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's what spirit is telling me. Somebody, the spirit is telling me there is a karmic masculine out here that could have been married to a, a empress or in a relationship or had a family with an empress. And they chose a, Bez, a Jezebel, somebody that they met at the club, the strip club, the bar. I feel like somebody didn't wind. Yeah, you didn't wind and dine. This helpful. Yeah, justice card here. Judge. Yeah, somebody up under judgment. Yeah, somebody could have wind and dine somebody. Somebody could have thought somebody was they twin flame. Somebody didn't wind and dine somebody. Or somebody could be winding and dining somebody right now. You going to jail. Somebody going to jail. I don't know. There's a karma. I don't know. I feel like there is a karmic couple that's been stealing from somebody. These are two, two karmic ass twin flames or Jezebels or I don't fucking know. I don't know what the fuck this is. I don't know, man. Somebody been whining and dining somebody, taking care of somebody. I don't know. Somebody finna go to jail for a long fucking time. Somebody finna go to the feds. I'm not finna tap into this shit. This energy, we already got some good energy. I don't want to tap into this karmic shit. What else is here, spirit? I don't know. What else is here? Spirit telling me to read that deck. I don't know. I'm hearing I left home. Home. My side piece. Somebody, I don't know. I don't know. I don't like this energy. So basically what I'm hearing is there is a king of cups here, a karmic soulmate or something like that. Somebody could have left their wife or their husband, male or female. Somebody could have left their family for a Jezebel and somebody can't cook. Somebody hygiene is fucked up. Somebody out here smelling like fish. I feel like somebody want to go back to their past or it's like I'm hearing somebody could have been the main chick or the main male. And it's like somebody, somebody cheated on their husband or their wife, their baby mama, their baby daddy, their girlfriend, their boyfriend. This is their ex. Somebody cheated on their ex for a Jezebel, male or female. And somebody wants to go back to the past. It's like somebody wants to have, it's like you could have been somebody's main chick or somebody's main dude. Now they want you to be a side piece or something like that. And I feel like somebody has been spoiling somebody, whining and dining somebody. Yeah, but it's like somebody wants you to have less. It's like somebody doesn't want to do for you. I don't fucking know. Somebody going to jail. There's a karmic couple here that could be going to jail or something like that. Somebody can, oh yeah, I just seen the Hierophant. Somebody could be, somebody can owe somebody some money. Yeah, there is a karmic couple here. I'm tired of picking up on these people. There is a karmic couple here that has been stealing from a divine masculine or a divine feminine or, or blocking some type of court case or something like that. These two individuals is going to the feds. The feds are tracking these people. Yeah, the feds are tracking these people. I feel like the feds are tracking these people. So for, this is what spirit is telling me. So Say, for instance, you was in a relationship and somebody cheated on you, male or female. They cheated on you for a Jezebel or a karmic. Somebody thought somebody was better than you. Somebody thought that they would never have anything with you. Somebody thought that you would never amount to anything. Somebody slept on you or something like that. So I keep picking up on this storyline. Somebody here owe you some type of money. Do you you could have been married to this person. This person may not want to uh like separate from you, or this part you can have children with this person. This person may not want to pay you or something like. I don't know what the fuck this is. I don't know. Or this could be some type of accident or, or something. I feel like somebody owes somebody some money. Or if you don't have anything with this person, somebody could have stole something from you. There's there's like multiple families here or two people here that's going to prison, that's going to jail for a very long time from stealing from their husband or their wife or their, their ex-girlfriend, ex I don't know what the flip this is. I don't know what this is, but I feel like the, the feds is here. The feds is here. So if you've been whining, whoever the fuck you are, I'm going to get out of this energy because I'm tired of this karmic, sh karmic shit. So whoever the fuck you are, this karmic couple is, or whoever the fuck you people are, if y'all have been prolonging some type of court case and you know you owe, owe somebody money, somebody could be working under the table. I don't know. If somebody's been uh, prolonging some type of court case, uh, stealing from somebody, not paying somebody, somebody can have an under the table job or something. If some, whatever the fuck you've been doing, the feds is tracking you and watching you you're going you're going to fuck to jail you're going to jail okay i don't know what this i'm just tired of picking up on these occults and secret organizations and secret societies that be blocking court cases i talked about that shit yesterday y'all going to fuck to jail i feel like somebody keeps trying to duck and dodge and hide somebody you can duck and dodge and hide and you know, do whatever the fuck you need to do. You're going to jail. The feds is finna, and you know you going to jail. Uh, Wheel of Fortune here, Nine of Swords here. Somebody is worried, or somebody feel like somebody feel like they can't be touched, or I don't know. I'm tired of this energy. 
Okay, so again, if you've been blocking some type of court case, if you, yeah, I feel like somebody don't want to pay somebody, somebody that they were married to or somebody they were in a relationship with or somebody that they had children with, whatever the fuck, somebody has an incurable STD as well, or I don't know, I don't know what the fuck this is. Whoever you are, bro, go to hell or go to jail or go to go to prison because that's where you're going anyways because the feds finna arrest your ass. Yeah, this could be an ex of yours, okay, and somebody is going to be invited to a cookout. Okay, y'all, I'm in a wonderful mood today. I don't be wanting to pick up on these karmics and shit. Uh, prolonging, it's the same repetitive shit. Prolonging court cases. They think it's he he and ha ha funny and whatever the fuck. There is about to be some type of completion. And that completion is the feds finna arrest your ass. The feds finna arrest you. You're going to jail. Okay, so laugh at that. Laugh at laugh when the feds kicking your dough. Cause you might be ducking and dodging uh people and whatever y'all doing, you going to the feds. All right, peace. I'm not finna tap into this bullshit. It's annoying. All right, like, subscribe, and share. Peace. Oh, and yeah, this gonna probably be a premiere. Peace.